Okay, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Cooler Master V8 CPU heatsink. It is a 180 watt cooling solution, which is basically overpowered for all but the most overclocked CPUs. So it's going to be able to keep you cool, etc, etc. You should experience the power of V8. It is compatible with Core i7, Core i5, Core i3, and AM3. And remember that anything that is AM3 compatible is also, by extension, compatible with AM2 and AM2+, Plus because they all use the same mounting holes. So, there Oh, actually, no, there is more on the box. Let's actually have a closer look at the box here. So, Cooler Master V8 uh, horsepower, any high performance CPU, four separate modular sets of aluminum fins create a large heat dissipation surface, eight heat pipes maximize heat transfer, so that's probably where the V8 comes from. It has a center mounted 120 millimeter fan, which I've always thought is kind of a smart way to do the design, and I'll show you that when we get inside. Okay, and then you've also got quiet operation at 17 to 21 decibels. I mean, those are basically the only important things about a CPU heatsink. Uh, the looks, the heat dissipation, and the noise level. I mean, I don't know, maybe there's something other than that. Actually, you know what? No, that's not the only thing. One really important thing is that if I just cut the seals on this side and then try to open it from the other side, why is this not working? I will have to find out how to get... Ah, there we go. Okay. One of the other really important things is the mounting system, and you can tell when the manufacturer has cheaped out on the mounting system. This does not look to be a case of cheaping out on the mounting system. You can see that all of these parts are made of like quality looking steel, okay? So you can't expect any of this to like bend or anything like that. Okay, so you can see we've got a multi backplate here. This backplate is set up for AM2. Actually, it looks like it even has 939 holes. So I'm not, I'm not sure how many people would be mounting something like this on socket 939, but there you go. And then you've got LGA775, 1156, and 1366. So that's how you get compatibility for all the different Intel Core processors. There's some kind of cheesy looking thermal compound that I probably wouldn't recommend using. And some tools, just in case you need tools to install this heatsink. Awesome. Let's get to the more interesting part, and that is the V8 itself, which is huge. Okay, uh, user's manual. Actually, there. We should talk about this first, too. So, Cooler Master seems to be including, wow, a pretty detailed user manual showing you all of the parts that should come with your V8 and giving you step-by-step -step instructions in about 342 different languages, including English, a bunch of stuff I can't read, German, uh, Spanish, and French. Okay, awesome. It looks to be about a six step, five to six step installation procedure, so that's pretty straightforward, I guess. And then on the back, wow, even more languages. Cool. So anyone living in any one of those countries can install this heatsink, assuming that they can read. Okay, then we have the warranty information, which is also in a billion and one different languages. A two-year warranty. There you go. Okay. So here is the V8 coming out of its clamshell. It feels kind of like the Darth Vader helmet, but it, there is tape, and I couldn't see it. So now I have cut the tape, and there we go. Now we are extracting it from the cooler. You know what? This isn't actually as big as I was expecting it to be. It looked like it was going to be like way huger than this. Okay, so let's have a look first from the side. So you can see that as they as advertised, it has four separate heat fin segmented parts that are all connected by heat pipes to the base. I'm not sure what the actual technical cooling advantages are of that, but there must be something. Cooler Master has been doing this for a very long time. Okay, so then you've got your 25 millimeter fan in the middle. Now the 25 mil fan is blowing this way, so that means that any air coming in from this side is cooling the base, and then the air gets heated up a little bit and then gets blown out the other side and is also cooling the base. So they're able to make use of not only the push air coming out of the fan, but also the pull air coming into the fan from the other side. I think this is really smart, and we're seeing a lot more heat sinks these days coming out with designs like this. From the top, and I mean, this comes down to aesthetics. Personally, I really like this. I think that it's very stylish looking. You got your Cooler Master logo with a shiny V8 letters. A shiny letters, whatever. Anyway, it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of like an engine component or some kind of like high-end sort of feature cool thing. Okay, I'm sort of lacking English today, but I think you get the point. And then let's get down to the base itself. So you can see we have eight, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight discrete heat pipes. So it comes out to like 16 coming out pretty much. 
okay, carrying heat up to the taller parts of the heat sink. And then we have, you can do the obligatory shiny shot. Oh, I can't hold this in one hand like that. I don't have a good grip. Okay, there we go. So there we can show how shiny the base is. Really, the shininess is not always relative, relevant because the most important thing is how flat it is because flatness is what's going to give you your heat conductivity, not shininess. So thank you for checking out my... Oh, no, no, not done. Okay, we have a sleeved black four pin fan connector here. So that's a PWM fan inside. That's kind of neat to see because most motherboards do support it these days. And then I finally figured out what this PCI bracket in the mounting hardware box is for. Low high. So you can actually take this off somehow. There's probably some way to do it. And you put this switch into the back of your computer and you can adjust the dial here for how fast you want the fan to run. That's kind of nice to have and it's kind of a cool looking shiny switch. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Cooler Master V8.